Evolutionists claim that the earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that the earth and the moon, planets and stars are all only 6,000 years old. Now, if the earth is really billions of years old as evolutionists claim, how do you explain that the moon is too warm on the inside? You see, the moon is losing heat every day. Uh, the moon should be stone cold to the center if it really were 4.6 billion years old as evolutionists claim. But the moon's interior is much hotter than most thermal models had predicted. In 1994, a satellite found out that it still has a small, still molten center. In 1999, the moon was found to have one third heat loss of the Earth per day. So that the moon loses one third as much heat as the Earth loses every day. If it were as old as evolution's claim, it would be stone cold to the center. And if the Earth and the planets, the universe, are billions of years old as evolution's claim, how do you explain that Titan? Now, Titan is a moon which orbits Saturn, but it has too little ethane. You see, based on the atmospheric chemistry, ethane should have been accumulating on the surface for supposedly four and a half to five billion supposed years. But we landed a satellite there in 2005, and it only found trace amounts of ethane. This was published in Nature magazine, the single highest scientific journal in the world for evolutionists. This proves that, in fact, Titan is young, and we know that God created the sun, the moon, and the stars on the same day. Therefore, we really can trust the Bible about the age of the Earth.